Welcome back, everyone. As the days go by, the temps continue to get colder and colder. This means we have to have some work to do in order to keep our landscapes in tip-top shape. I spoke with Richard Pierce, Irrigation Efficiency Specialist, to find out what we need to do now. Joining us this morning, we have Richard Pierce, the Irrigation Efficiency Specialist with the Water Authority. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Richard. We are talking about landscaping and how much we should or should not be watering this time around. Uh, so let's get right into it. How much should I be watering my landscape in November? So for the rest of the month, we are recommending that you go ahead and water once or twice. Um, part of that's going to depend on if we get any more moisture before Thanksgiving. And if we do, you can just water one more time. If we don't, we definitely recommend to keep health up twice this month. Twice this month. Okay. And in addition to that, um, let's talk about how to keep our landscape healthy throughout the winter season though, because we're really getting close to that. It feels pretty chilly outside. Yeah. This morning's cold out here. Um, so this time of year, we recommend that you go ahead and aerate. Um, it's also fine to aerate in the spring as well. We are also recommending that you go ahead and put down some compost about a half inch on your grass and around your trees both. Um, that will help build up soil moisture in the soil. So again, in the spring when you start up, you don't have to use as much. Um, I would also recommend shutting down your irrigation system um, as soon as we know that we're gonna get another hard freeze at night. Um, and it's fine to hand water with a hose after that if you need to. Okay. You know, I know we're talking about lawns. What do we do with our trees? So um, once again, it's good to put down a little bit of compost. Um, it'll help build up those nutrients in the soil. And then adding a top layer of mulch that will also help um, keep any roots that are higher from getting um, like frostbite, but also it just keeps a constant temperature and keeps your ground um, a better temp. Also, go ahead and give them a watering once a month throughout the winter, a good deep watering, and that will help them build up their hardiness. And you'll use less water in the spring when you start watering with your system again. Interesting. I didn't know that. Um, yeah. I know we're talking about reducing the, the amount of times we're watering our landscape, our, our lawn, and our trees. Why is it so important that we do that? Why, why is it important that we don't overwater this time? So... Um, for the most part, majority of our plant material is going dormant, so it needs a little bit of water to keep it healthy over the winter, but it needs substantially less. Um, conifers are an exception. We want to make sure that we give them some water. Um, they're the ones, our pine trees, our junipers, they're going to need a little bit more water because they don't lose their leaves and they do stay more active than the rest of the plants. Um, but overall, your plant material, um, if it doesn't have leaves, it can't send water back up as evaporation into the air, so it's using less. If somebody at home is thinking, I just need a little bit more uh, uh, information, or maybe they want to recap of the tips you gave us, where can they find that? So we have a really great email service. It's called Ask an Expert, and it's at askanexpert at abcwua.org. Um, also, from 505 outside our website, um, there's links to phone numbers where you can reach out and we can talk to you on the phone. Perfect. Richard, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Some great tips you've passed along. Well, thank you.